In this video, we're going to go over how to create a Stripe pricing table that you can add to your website. You can embed on it on your WordPress website, Squarespace website, or Wix website. So with that, let's jump into it. But first, if you're new here, make sure to click that like, click that subscribe, and all the links can be found in the description box below. Let's jump into it. So today, we're going to be building a pricing table like this that people can toggle monthly and yearly. And when they click subscribe, they will be taking or going to a place that they can subscribe to your plan. So how do we set up this pricing table like this? Well, the first step we need to do is we need to go to the Stripe dashboard. So I'm going to go to my Stripe dashboard. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use test mode. And if you look up in the top right hand corner, I'm going to toggle test mode. The next thing I need to do is I'm going to go to products and I'm going to go to pricing tables. So I'm going to go to products, pricing tables, and I'm going to click create pricing table. And so with this, I can add a product that I want to use. So in this case, I'm going to add a new product called starter plan. Awesome. So I'm going to add a product called starter plan and I want to charge $250 a month for my starter plan. And I have this recurring monthly. And another cool feature is I can add features here. So let's say I do like three hours of support per month, you know, maintenance, whatever you want to put here. Awesome. So I'm going to add this product. And as you can see, here is what the pricing table looks like right now. So another cool thing I can do is I can add another price to this. So I can add another price and I want to charge $2,500 for the yearly plan. And if I do that, I can see that I have this monthly and yearly plan. So that's pretty cool. And I'm going to add my other products to this quickly. So I'm going to add another product and I'm going to do, let's do like a pro plan and let's charge, you know, $750 a month and I'm going to add these features. So 10 hours of support, whatever it is, whatever you want to add, it's not required to add features, but you can add it like this and I'm going to add this product. And then once again, add another price. So I'm going to add another price for $7,500. And if they do the yearly right here, Awesome. So also before I click save, there's this additional option where I can add like a free trial um, and other things like automatically collect tax. So I'm going to add this other price. And right now I have two, um, two products in my pricing table monthly, yearly, and I'm also going to add another product and I'm just going to do the elite product and I'm going to add another price for you know 2500 a month and the yearly plan will be $25,000 a year. So this is just a test and this is just an example and I'm going to click continue. Awesome. So right here I can, you know, choose things like allow promo promo codes and I could add coupon codes that my customers could use. I could collect, you know, customers addresses collect their um, phone numbers, add additional custom fields to my checkout page, etc. But for now, I'm just going to keep going with this tutorial and get this Stripe pricing table set up on my site. So I'm going to click continue. And I also want to allow customers to change products. So I'm basically building a pricing table that also will be able to interact as a customer portal. So I'm going to click finish. And if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to click that like and click that subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so I have finished creating my pricing table and I'm gonna click copy code. And next, I'm gonna go to my website and go to new page. And I'm just gonna call this um, pricing plans or something like that. And I'm gonna create a container. Just create a container. And then inside this container, I'm going to do um, HTML and I'm just going to embed this pricing table. So I'm going to publish this pricing table. And now if I view this page, I can see that I have 
you know, the starter plan, the pro plan and the elite plan. So if my customers wanted to subscribe to one of these plans, like let's say they want to subscribe to, let's just do the pro plan, for example, they can click subscribe and they can easily fill out, you know, let's just do a test email and let's just do a test card. And we'll just do like John Doe. I'll just fill the rest of this out. Awesome. So I'm going to click subscribe and now my customer is going to subscribe to my monthly plan. So they've clicked subscribe and they have, you know, purchased my pricing plan via Stripe. So the other cool thing about this is if my customer ever wanted to upgrade or downgrade their plan, they could easily do this by using the customer portal feature. So I'm just going to go quickly back to billing and I believe, or maybe this is in payments. So let's do, how do we get to this? Where's the portal? So I could do this customer portal and I have a link to this portal right here. And if I'm a customer and I go to this link, if I add this link to my site, my customer could easily, you know, sign into this portal. And I'm going to quickly grab my um, confirmation code. And after grabbing my confirmation code, my customer will be able to update their plan, cancel their plan. So let's say they wanted to update their plan. They could click update and then they could choose a different plan that they wanted to use. So let's say they were on, you know, the $750 a month they want to update to the elite plan so they could do that as well and they could confirm this change another thing that they could do is they could you know maybe they want to update to the yearly plan so they could also do this you know if they're on the pro, pro plan they want to update to the yearly pro plan or the you know elite pro plan etc so they could also do that and you know they just click confirm and their new plan has been submitted. Another couple of things I didn't cover in the tutorial is how to add the billing or the customer portal link. So if you just go to your Stripe dashboard and you go to the customer portal, you'll be able to copy this and I could add this to my site. So for example, I want to add this where this contact page is. So I am just going to go down to custom links and I'm going to add this page like account and I'm going to remove my contact page and I'm just going to add this nav button right here. And now my customers will be able to click the account link and they'll be able to manage their account. So make sure that if you're putting this on a live site that you go out of test mode and you can grab this updated link because the links changed and you can pop in this link. You also can be able to add uh, um, your own URL. So if you don't want to use Stripe, there's a way to use your own branding. Okay, the next thing I want to cover is if you're still in test mode, let me turn this back on, and I go to my products, I can click into a product, and I can do this copy to live mode. So that could be helpful if you made three products or so, and you want to easily copy this to your live mode. So I can go to the live mode product and now I have this in live mode. So that's it guys. If you guys got value out of this video, make sure to give me a like, give me a subscribe. It's a lot easier to add a pricing table to your website than it was even a year ago or two years ago by using Stripe's embeddable pricing tables. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.